Here we go. This is my uh, eight month update on my tank. It's been running a total of about eight months. I think about six months since my last update. And so what I've added is a few more euphelias over here in my euphelia garden. I actually lost one euphelia and had to replace him. He got brown jelly. I didn't want him to start jumping to my other stuff. So I got rid of him pretty quickly. Uh, I added this candy cane. And this candy cane, he, I've had him for a while, but he hasn't really grown much. I don't know if I have him a bad spot or what, but his uh, growth has been a little bit underwhelming. My rocks are starting to get some coralline algae on them, so that's a good thing. I had a little bit of trouble with uh, bubble algae and algae growing in my tank. My nitrates crept up over about 10, up closer to 20, so I started doing no pox a few weeks back and they have definitely dropped back down to sub 10. I'm trying to get them down to sub five. This is a new guy I just added. Uh, I think it's called a war paint sc scolia. I got that guy from Austin Aqua Farms, which is if you ever get down to Austin, it's a great place. Love their store. Father and son own it. They're really cool. There's one of my little sand conches. You can see some more back there. Uh, unfortunately, since the last time I updated, I think I had a white tail tang in here. He did not make it. He kept losing weight, so he was never really healthy, I don't think. He, uh, he got skinnier and skinnier and then finally passed away. And I replaced him with four antheas. Yeah, I really like them. I mean, I, st I feed twice a day anyway, so they seem to be okay with getting fed twice a day. Um, I had, uh, I ordered actually six of those. One of them died in transit and one of them leaped to his death. So I have the four, they've been there for a long time. So I don't, hoping I don't have any more jumpers. I don't have a top on my tank. So one of them leaped over the edge. So here's my Zoas. The ones that are a little higher up in the back are doing a little better. You can see that the eagle eyes are really spread a lot. And that stuff's doing really well back there. The alien eyes are doing really well. The ones in the front aren't growing quite as much. I don't know if it's because they're a little lower. Maybe they're not getting as much light or I'm not exactly sure what's going on with those. They're not having the growth rate that those ones in that middle do. Admittedly, these are a little bit newer. So I added these after those, but Still, they're definitely not growing as fast as the other ones did. That's a, uh, another brain I got. That's an open brain, another one from uh, Austin Aqua Farms. Really like that guy. And of course I have some ACANs. This is my kind of my ACAN area over here. Let's see, I have a bunch of different ACANs. The one in the back there is the newest. Just got him. He's starting to get a little bit happier looking. And then I have some SPS up here. The one in the back is a Monty. He's doing really good. He was just a little dot when I got him. He's grown a lot. The guy in the middle there, he hasn't grown much, but he's, he's definitely can see his little polyps extending. So I think he's good. I think the one in the front may be dead. He doesn't seem to be doing much. He was an acro, so I have a little acro pack, but he hasn't done well at all. I don't know if I killed him or something when I first got him, but he's always looked kind of the same. And that's my leather. He's grown a lot since I got him too. It may be that he might be messing with these SPS, being a little close there. I run carbon, so I'm hoping I don't. You can see my uh, clown there in the back. It's a black ice. They have grown a tremendous amount. They were tiny little guys when I got them. They're really big and happy looking. Same with that guy, my Van Guy Cardinal. He has grown a lot. He's probably at least twice as big as when I got him. So the fish are all doing really well, except of course the tang, he, he didn't make it, but I think I'm set with fish. So I'm not gonna add any more for a while. Let's see my Rass, he's doing really good. And I don't know my fox face, but he's always 
Scaredy cat, but man, he is really, I don't know if you can tell how thick he is. He has got some beef on him. I feed him uh, algae on a clip, and then of course just uh, mice shrimp, and then I also use the Larry's Reef Frenzy, which they really like. I've got them pretty trained now. I have a button that kicks off my power heads, and they know when that happens, they all come out and are ready to eat. I like the Anthias because they give the tank a lot of action. So the one thing I have done a little bit different is I started putting no pox in when my nitrates went up. So I open up the bottom here. You can see everything in here is pretty much the same as it has been. I started dosing the no pox. I dose just a little bit, like three milliliters every day. My DOS is working really well. I have I had to replace one of the heads when I first got it, but after that it's it's worked fine. My little containers there, no problems there. All my electronics in the back. Go to their side. Everything over here is pretty much the same, I think. I don't know if I had the skims the last time I did one of these. I like that little guy. It's got it's a macro algae reactor. Last time I cleaned it out, it had a tremendous amount of algae in it. And then I have, of course, all my media. That hasn't changed much. And then that's my uh, Simplicity protein skimmer. I have it skimming pretty wet, mostly because of the no pox. When I put the no pox in, it really, it really kicks it into high gear. So I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but it definitely happens. One change I have done is, it's hard to see, but that is a different return pump. My original return turn pump, the AC-DC converter died in it, and I replaced it with that Jacob. I had it overnighted, it was like a third of the cost. I just kind of wanted the backup anyway, so I figured I'd go for one, a little cheaper one. But it works just as good and it's just as quiet. You can't hardly hear the thing. So I just left it in there. I have the, the Varios 8 in the closet right now. I didn't use the control port on it to control the speed of the return pump. I didn't think there was any reason to. Uh, I turned it on and off, but I used to use the switch for that. There's my, uh, where I dose. You can see I get a little bit of precipitation in the bottom down there. That's after eight months, so just a little bit on the bottom down there. You can see it on the back there too. Those little check valves made all the difference in the world. I was getting a lot of air creeping back up the lines. I think it was making inconsistent dosing, but the check valves have stopped all that. I have an extra set of trying to replace those like every year or so. Anyway, that's the downstairs, the sump area. And we'll get one more shot of the tank here. There's my little Antheas. They cruise around. The one guy is definitely the guy there on the left. I think he's turning into a male, but I can't tell. He hasn't changed color much, but he is definitely the alpha. He he'll run at the other ones every once in a while. but they're not too bad. They uh, seem to be getting along pretty good. Oh, there's my fox, he's coming out. Anyway, that's it for the eighth month update. Thank you.